Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to the craft table. Today I'm going to do another Dutch pour on a uh, 12 by 12 tile and I'm going to use colors that um, I'd never used before. Only for one reason though. I stopped at a craft store and I love craft stores. But I am a skin flint. I am as cheap as they come. So I don't like spending a lot of money on paint and or anything else. If I can find it at the dollar store, I'm happy. Walmart, I'm happy. Well, everybody has been just, I see this all the time, the Liquitex Basics and their colors always turn out so beautifully. So I decided I'm going to give it a shot just to see. And I picked up this uh, dioxidine purple because I'd seen it used so many times and I really do like purple, but it has to be a real purple. Not, it's hard to explain, but I picked up uh, Liquitex Basics here, and um, thought I'd give it a try. Well, I don't use purple often, so I don't know what color. So, uh, being me, I went on Google and I asked for a color wheel and the contrasting and and complementary and uh, yeah. Anyway. So they gave me some choices. So I grabbed um, uh, just classic green because they kept showing me green. And this is uh, folk art, classic green. It's a multi-surface. And this white, um, I've seen people use the metallic white and get really beautiful little cells and um, effects going on. And this uh, copper, I've also seen that. Everything that I do, I've seen and go, I wonder if I can do that. That's why you see me copying so many people. And uh, the Deco Art Americana uh, Cadmium Yellow. And I am not a yellow and orange and red type person. So this, it, this is all new to me and Let's just say I'm a little bit leery about it. I don't know what's going to happen. I never know. And that's the excitement. That's why I keep coming back and doing it. And of course, I've got my regular um, just white. This is Artist Loft uh, mixed with Floetrol and some water. So that is just plain white. And I'm going to flood. And I've already cleaned my tile with um, some alcohol. It's all nice and clean. And I've made up my paints, and I found these at the Dollar Tree with the lids, and they're perfect, and they're washable and reusable. And um, I also did find, and not at the craft store, but at the Dollar stores, um, I love, I use these plastic spoons all the time. And I like using them as stir sticks because they're so washable. You just take them over, wipe them down with a paper towel and they're clean. Uh, no stains, no nothing. They And you get three for a dollar and they're lifetime use, you know, it's forever. But I also found some of these and I thought, well, wouldn't these be cute? Especially Father's Day coming up, graduation parties, birthdays. How easy would this be to um, gesso over the top, pour some paint on it or some resin on it? And I mean, they're gorgeous and they're just uh, three by seven frames. And mm, they don't really tell you how much. Oh, $1.49. And I think I got them on sale. Uh, like off of sale rack for like a buck a piece, knowing me, yeah, it was a buck a piece. So, like I said, I oh, is cheap. 
I am cheap. And I also uh, found this little thing at one of my dollar stores. Uh, it was like Family Dollar, which is not one of those that everything's a dollar. But this was um, two ninety nine, I think. And I mean, what's not to love about it? It's handy, clicks, fire. You know, works for me. All right, so enough gabbing. So we get to work and find out if this is going to be a yay or a nay. Yeah, let's go. And there you have it. I did not waste my money. That purple is gorgeous. It's just oh, so bright and so beautiful. And yes, I could hear you saying, stop it, stop it, leave it alone, stop it, don't blow anymore, stop it. Yeah, I, I'm a fiddler. I, I get that picture in my head and I I just can't. I can't quit. I keep fiddling and fiddling and fiddling and uh, yes, I have been known to totally destroy a painting because of my fiddling. And that's why I like live streams. Then you could just literally yell at me and say stop it. But yeah, I, I love this. This is another flower for my fast growing garden. The green fits beautifully, the copper lacing, and I I can't swear to it, but I think that um, metallic white um, really helped with these these tiny tiny cells. 
in just the right spots. It's just gorgeous. And if you didn't notice, which I'm sure you did, um, this little thing, that was a waste of money. I mean, the flame's only that big. You almost have to touch the painting. So don't bother. Mm -mm. Don't bother. I reverted back. I tried. I tried a couple times and it was it wouldn't even pop the white bubbles but I reverted back to my old light the world on fire torch and now I'm happy with it but yeah um I hope you enjoyed this and it, the, it, I know I did it's absolutely gorgeous and I will I promise take pictures of it and show you a close-ups at the end after it's dried a bit and uh, well what can I say hope you stick around to see it and I hope you have a great week and I promise I, I will be back soon bye bye now